I welcome everyone to our God's Word Fellowship podcast. I am Vanita Santiago. God is good and this mercy endures forever. Thank you so much once again for taking your precious time to join our podcast. Listen to this message prayerfully because God's word has power to change your life. Do not question God's word. Why is God saying like that to me? Is God hard on me? So God is good to you. Always remember that God is good and his mercy endures forever. God's word has power to change your lives. It's possible, but you need to allow that God's word in your heart without questioning, without doubting, without having second thoughts about it. Allow God's word to change your life and God will do mighty things in your life. So before we get into my message, let's pray. Father, we come into your presence in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, your good and your mercy endures forever. Father, you are God Almighty. Besides you, there is none. You are Savior. Besides you, there is none. Father, wisdom and might are yours. You are wonderful in counsel, excellent in mercy, mighty in deeds and great in works. Father, I give you all the glory and all the honor and praise and worship to your only precious name in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for our country, India. Lord, I pray that you protect our country from all sorts of dangers, Father. Father, I pray that uh, the war between Russia and Ukraine will never have any impact on our nations. Father, I pray that you give our leaders wisdom how to handle the situations, Father. Thank you for helping our country, blessing our leaders to use their wisdom, Father. Thank you for helping us. Father, even as we are going to meditate on your word, Lord, I pray that you speak to us through your word. Father, I pray that you strengthen us with your word. Father, I pray that you exhort us and you comfort us. Father, I pray that you give us answers and solutions for our problems. Father, I pray that you show us the way out. Father, I pray that you help us and strengthen us. Thank you so much for speaking to all of us through your word. In the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. We have been studying about the subject called God's way to prosper. Let's read our text from Jeremiah 17 verse 7 and 8. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters that spreadeth out her roots by the river and shall not see when heat cometh but her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought neither shall cease from yielding fruit so we, we have been studying uh, about many points since i started this series we looked at things concerning faith how faith is important in the kingdom of god without faith nothing works in the kingdom of god if you want to receive your healing, then have faith in God. If you want to receive a, a financial freedom from God, a financial blessings from God, again, have faith in God. If you want to be protected from coronavirus and from the economical problems and the economic crisis and market issues, again, have faith in God. You need protection from harms and dangers. Again, have faith in God. This faith is the foundation thing in the kingdom of God. Without faith, you cannot receive anything from the Lord. And again, faith is something that you have to stay single-minded regarding God's word. If you have double mind, mindedness it's like sometimes i will obey god's word sometimes i will not obey god's word sometimes i will be patient sometimes i will be impatient sometimes i will forgive people sometimes i will resent don't act like a dual acting stay on the god's side stay on the kingdom side stay on the faith side and your prayers will be very easily answer from God you are going to receive answers for your prayers easily 
when you obey what god has commanded you don't have to struggle to receive answers from god another thing is that you don't have to convince god father bless me bless me bless me lord help me help me do something no you are not moving god through your prayers when you are in faith already god is moving on your directions when you are in faith already god is pleased about you and he is working on your behalf but like i explained four things in the kingdom of god that faith and obedience we looked at the life of abraham and again faith and patience faith and patience are very important we covered that part also and again another thing that we are covering today is faith which works by love if you want your faith to work immensely if you want your faith to work in the kingdom of god that you need to walk in love see let's uh, read the verse which support this thought let's go to galatians 5:6 for in jesus christ neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision but faith which works by love how does faith work by love does god say faith works by resentment does did god say faith works by grudge did god say faith works by hating others no god is telling faith works by love If you are wondering that why your prayers are not answered why there is a delay there are some things that you have been praying and trusting God that God will answer your prayers from decades and still you have not received that blessing from the God so you examine yourself in this area whether you are walking in love and forgiveness see when you love people you will definitely forgive them but when you have this hatredness and bitterness and envy towards your fellow believers or towards other people then you will definitely not forgive them how can you forgive people when you love them when you love people with unconditional love see love is unconditional when you have to forgive people many people put conditions okay you do this for me then i will forgive I'll come and apology then i will forgive or you don't repeat this again then i will forgive so if you place conditions before people saying that if you do this for me only then i will forgive the other times the the very next thing those people will do that they will not do whatever you, you have demanded from them when you put conditions like this for you to forgive others people don't like to follow your conditions because when you love you don't put conditions at all see god so loved the world we read in john's gospel 316 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life see jesus christ is the greatest gift that you can ever receive in your life there is no greater gift than our lord jesus christ that god can give for you so he gave the greatest thing see god the father gave his only begotten son for you and he killed him on the cross for so that he you can live he slain his own son crucified his own son on the cross by putting the whole the entire human race sin on him and jesus christ paid for your sins he crushed his only begotten son so that he he can give life for you so that he can give eternal life for you see how why did god the father gave his only begotten son to you it's again answer is written in the same verse for god so loved the world see when you love that you will give the greatest expression expression of love is giving if you want to express your love to others then give if somebody wants forgiveness from you give freely see god 
has asked his children to forgive others there is a commandment all over the bible that you can read that you have to forgive people why why should you forgive people so that you can get blessed so that you can receive answers for your prayers so that your prayers will be unhindered so that your prayers will get answered quickly see i have seen some people who are in the sick bed they are sick and they are having hard time they are going through pain physically and emotional pain they are going through they are hard and they are struggling in the sick bed again sitting on the sick bed they hate people and they speak about the people who have hurt them and speak about the insult that what others have done to them see during in that time when you need healing if you hold on to that grudge and that bitterness and resentment i can't speak about how much you hate others then you are not speaking faith and you these things are blocking your healing receiving from god these things are blocking your answers from god see when god is asking us to forgive others he is not trying to rule over us he doesn't want to he doesn't like to boss over you hey i am lord you have to obey me you don't obey me i'll crush you i'll crush you to the ground i'll hurt you no god is not telling like that god is telling if you forgive your prayers will be answered quickly how fast you forgive people so much faster you are going to receive answers for your prayers you practice this forgiveness you should be on this forgiving mode at all times then your conscience will be clear and this envy this bitter and the resentment that you, what you do towards others should not come between you and your god these things are clogs these things are blockages they are uh, blocking your blessings from god they are blocking your answers that's what god doesn't want you to do god, when god is telling you to forgive others it is good for you it is he you when you forgive others you are doing favor for yourself see one great man of god he said like this i think his name is saint augustine a great philosopher and a theologian he said like this resentment is like drinking poison and waiting for other person to die so many people think that when they are hating others they are thinking they are hurting others but actually it's not that is the deception of the devil the devil has lied to people the devil is convincing the body of christ to hate others by sending his ambassadors uh, you you know sometimes we'll be when you are hurt already somebody has insulted you and you are in pain and you are speaking bad about another person and saying all the time what they have done to you how much they have insulted you and again immediately one person will come and say yeah you are right you hate and you have all the rights to hate them you keep them away from your life don't make phone calls to them don't develop any friendship with them just cut them off from your life and those people also will come and give some uh, so some encouragement for you to hate other person so in that case some people will think oh i have somebody to support my belief here so it's okay for me to hate others so you know what happened when you already made up your mind to hate others the next time yeah, that hatredness will grow the next day that unforgiveness also can grow it's like a seed the devil has planted that seed of unforgiveness and resentment in your heart and now you are watering that seed and you you have decided that i will never talk to that person anymore in my life how can you say like that because you are remembering what they have done to you you are remembering the pain and the hurt when you are meditating on the pain and the hurt what people have done to you then you will not forgive them no some people have some other policy again i don't know where they get it from it's definitely not from god's word some people they say i forgive but i don't forget 
Oh, <laughs> if you don't forget, you cannot forgive. That's given in the Bible. See, God the Father says in the Old Testament, and when He is forgiving the sins of the children of Israel, you know the children of sin, uh, the children of Israel, they provoke God to anger big time through their idolatry and through their uh, worship to other gods by building. Uh, altars for baal worship by worshiping the idols and through idolatry witchcraft several other things their iniquities were so much nobody was worthy to receive any blessing from god in the natural they made god angry so much you know god is telling them if you turn from your wicked ways and you turn to me and i will forgive you and he says another very very important thing it is something that you have to pay attention to this and listen carefully and he says i will forgive your sins and will not remember your iniquities anymore why is god saying i forgive and i will not remember your iniquities but when if god the father remembers what the children of israel had done to him and all the iniquities which they did before his eyes if god the father brings them to his remembrance then he also cannot forgive them that is the reason god is telling i will not remember your iniquities any more that is the same way in the same way jesus christ has forgiven us our sins in order for god to bless us then he should not remember our sins and we should also give a uh, god a rightful cause for him to bless us see there is always a uh, war between flesh and the spirit going on in our uh, body see man is not just a man an outside physical body man is a spirit being and he has a soul and he lives in a body man is a three part being the spirit always lusteth against the flesh and the flesh lusteth against the spirit the spirit of god says the divine nature in us it says you have to forgive people again the flesh will say no they have hurt me i will not forgive when you hate others your flesh is getting satisfied but when you love others even though they have hurt you then your spirit is getting satisfied when you continue to hate others and resent others every time you stay in that mode of that resentment and unforgiveness that means you are losing your war against devil the devil is raging war against you every day so that he can hinder your blessings so that he can block your blessings from god that's why he is pushing you he is pushing that buttons on in your flesh and make you hate others and he presses in your flesh so strong your flesh will scream at you if you want to forgive but every time you yield to your flesh then you are defeated then you are, you lost your war against the devil but every time you choose to forgive then you are winning war against the devil the devil always accuses you before god whenever you trespass god's commandment when you refuse to give forgiveness to others you know what devil does he will accuse you before god look your children uh, you your children are not uh, forgiving others you told them to forgive they are not doing no you can't bless them no he has a right to ask god not to bless you because you are not keep doing what god has said no when you obey what god the father has said what jesus has commanded you that you forgive others then god can tell devil look at my children devil they have forgiven i'm going to bless them and you cannot come in between us get lost you lost your war so when you forgive others you are giving glory to god and you are also on victory side and you are winning every time against the devil see we'll look at one more verse from uh, mark 11 mark 11 24 onwards therefore i say unto you what things soever you desire when you pray believe that you receive them and you shall have them in this mark 11 we read about the 
faith scriptures how you are to walk in faith how you are to use the words of faith and do not doubt in your heart and shall believe that whatever you say will come to pass you shall have whatever you say but after that jesus immediately teaching about forgiveness in verse 25 when you stand praying forgive if you have ought against any that means if something is bothering you that you did not forgive people somebody has hurt and you are still hating them you are still keeping that grudge in your heart you are still resenting them god is telling when you come before me when you are making prayers if you read the same verse in esv and amplified version it says whenever you pray uh, i can say like this while you are praying at any time you are praying or all the times whenever you are praying if you have art against any or if you are hating somebody else if i have to put it in a simple words if you are hating somebody else forgive then it's saying that your father also which is in heaven will forgive you your trespasses but if you do not forgive then your father also which is in heaven will forgive your trespasses so you want to receive mercy from god you want to receive answers from god for your prayers then you clear this clog you clear this blockage by forgiving people by forgiving others e- even though they have hurt you you can still forgive how can i forgive they have hurt me so much you might ask me how much have you hurt god when you trespassed his commandments when you did what is not right in his sight when you provoke god we all have provoked god nobody is right in the sight of god you know nobody is just before god if not for jesus christ which he has done his uh, great work on the cross of calvary and resurrected from the dead we all were destined to hell so that master jesus is smarter than all of us if he is telling for us to forgive then it is for our good see there is a prayer and if you go down there is about forgiveness we will look, look at one more scripture which convey the same idea let's go to matthew 5:23 therefore if thou bring your gift to the altar and there remember that your brother has ought against thee and again here it says you brought a gift in front of god you brought an offering and you want to offer before god and there you will remember something what does it say there you remember that your brother has ought against thee here again it is not you your brother is hating you that something that you have done to them and he is hating you if you remember that you have hurt your brother immediately keep your gift on the altar and go and become one with your brother and go and reconcile if you have to apology go and apology be reconciled but after asking apology after you want to be reconciled with them still they don't want to forgive you it's okay god wants to receive your gift what you are offering you just obey what god has said don't worry about others whether they want to forgive you or not forgive you that's not your problem if you want your gift if you want the god to receive your gift which you are offering then go and be reconciled to people or if you have ought against any then forgive others it's both the way if somebody has done something against you answer is forgive or if you have done somebody to something some to somebody else again go and ask forgiveness and be reconciled the reason god is telling you to forgive so that he wants to prosper you so that he can prosper you you are giving a legal right to god to prosper you always stay on faith side faith side is a peaceful side see when you forgive people you will feel ease in your spirit it will be a easy going for you see you cannot hate people and uh, laugh at the same time the hatredness and the smiling face they don't stay together they are different because they are they don't they are not from the same source hatredness comes from the devil love from god so when you love others like how god loved you 
you are going to receive answers for your prayer quickly how fast are you going to receive answer for your prayers the faster you forgive others i think we are out of time today the next week again we are going to you know, speak about the same subject after that we will move on to some other subject thank you so much for listening to this message god bless you jesus christ is coming soon